the next system of rule in France after the trial of Robespierre's democracy or the reign of terror is known as directory rules. <clears throat> the directory rule was a system again elected by the government it was a democracy but instead of one person in power it was more than one. Let us see how it was um, functioning. So citizens about 21 years of age they can vote. They will elect two assemblies or two legislative council. Legislative council one and legislative council two. So they can vote for two legislative councils. These legislative councils will elect a directory, directory of five people. These five members of directory will be ruling the country. And this, in theory, was a good move because instead of one, there is five people to rule. So there will not be any, any dictatorship because five people will have five ideas and so there should be concerns and there will be checks. And when the directory came up, these council members were mainly from uh, richer sections of the middle class. Uh, the rule of the poor has gone because Jacobins have uh, had been you know, sidelined because of the policies of uh, Robespierre and the rule. So, it was wealthier sections of the middle class who seized the power in this directory rule. And they limited the suffrage to property men. You remember? The active citizens who has got property, men about 21 years who have got property has got the right to vote. They changed the constitution. They introduced a new constitution and they limited the suffrage to men with property. This rule as well failed. This directory rule existed from 1794 to 1799. This failed because these directors often uh, argued between me. They have no agreement between them many a time or they never agreed with legislative council. When they don't agree with the legislative council, what they will do? They will remove these five and put another five in power. So there was a continuous political instability. Remember I was saying Maximilian Robespierre brother was a friend of Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte was a, was a captain in a city in Paris during that time. In a city at that time there was riots and um, he helped Robespierre to crash that uh, riots and control that area. So he was moved to Paris. There he became more and more powerful. He became a, and he became a general. And in 1796, the war against Italy was fought under him by France. So he led them to victory in 1796 against Italy in a, to a victory. Again, Napoleon led the army in the war against Egypt in 1798. In 1799, Napoleon led the army against Ottoman Empire and he was, he was um, fighting war in Turkey. So all this war made Napoleon famous. He was a popular general by the time. He had success in, in three wars and he was seen as a person with a, with a decision. So he was coming up the grade. When he saw the political turmoil, political instability in France due to the fight and the disputes between directory and legislative, he identified this is the time, this is the chance. He came back, it is said that he let his uh, army in Turkey and uh, came back to Paris 
to seize the opportunities. He organized a coup d'etat, coup d'etat means uh, coup d'etat is uh, what do you mean by it? A word by word meaning is uh, a, a, a revolt against the state or the rule. So he overthrew the directory and he replaced it with three member consulate. Instead of directory, there will be three members consulate, and uh, the consulate will elect one council. And that council will rule the country uh, with the control of this uh, council you know, or this consulate. So, in 1799, directory was replaced by a three member consulate, and Napoleon Bonaparte was elected as the first council of France. That's when he gained the power. We will learn more about Napoleon Bonaparte later. Uh, topics. So, let us conclude our, uh, today's class here. Now we have seen uh, monarchy being overthrown, republic being established, a failure of its reign of terror, failure of republic, and then directory rule. In this whole topic, most important part is the reign of terror, the transition from uh, monarchy to republic, you need to know it, but you will have to study the reign of terror, the policies adopted by Robespierre, Maximilian Robespierre. And then you need to know the structures of directory, means you need to know what was, what is directory, um, a rule of directory, okay. Hope you enjoyed the class, hope you enjoyed the story. Until we meet next class. It's by, but at the same time, remember, there's an exam coming in. Until uh, the page number 16, the reign of terror, that will be the part which will be asking the question. Please do complete the notes. If you have a doubt, ask me. In uh, today's class, what we were taught, uh, the note should be written on reign of terror and on directory rule. Directory rule, if you want, want to know, just read the, always read the text so you get more points and listen to the narrative. There are points in it. And please prepare your own notes. You need to learn how to prepare your own notes. As always, if you have any doubt, do not hesitate. Let me know. I'm here to help you. I'll clarify it. Have a good day. Plan your day proper for some for studies, some for leisure, some for music or your own activities. Spend some time with your family. Be open to them. They will help you. And uh, have some fun. Have a good day.